for the given periodic um, waveform, determine the values of frequency, average value over half a cycle, root mean square value, the form factor, and the peak factor. Okay, so we start with um, frequency. The very first one says we should find the value of the frequency f. And we know that frequency is simply 1 all over period, which is simply t. And if we evaluate this cycle, we have about 4 number of cycles here, from 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, and 40. That's about 4 cycles. And the time for this cycle, for the first, for half of the cycle, is simply, the first is given as 8, which is, and remember, the, the time is measured here in milliseconds, not just in seconds. Okay, so the time is in milliseconds. So time over half the cycle is simply 8. And time for the first cycle is simply 16. Okay, so um, to obtain um, the value, since we have 16 here, T period is simply what? 16. And it's given in milliseconds. So we have to convert milli to what? Seconds. This is simply what? 16 by 10 to the power of what? Minus 3 in seconds. Because milli simply means by 10 to the power of minus 3. Okay? Therefore, the frequency f is simply 1 all over this period, 16 by 10 to the power of minus 3. Please give me the value. What? 62.5. So you have frequency to be 62.5 in hertz. So that's the first value or the first answer. Okay, next step we should find the average value. Now, average value over half a cycle, I've, I've said that you cannot find average value over one complete cycle. The value becomes zero. Simply because we have um, the cycle up and we have the cycle down. So the values up are positive, the values down are negative. So average value over a complete cycle, cycle will simply give us what? Zero. Now, to find the average value, there are basically two ways of finding the average value. And we're going to employ that two ways and compare the answer if we're going to have the same result. The first method is average value in this case since we're talking about um, a voltage wave it means it's going to be v average simply vav which shows average value of the voltage is simply the area of the given curve or cycle area of curve sorry area of shape all over the length of base okay so we'll do this now and compare with the second method. So we'll check, check it out. The area of this curve, this is triangular in nature. And of course, the area of the triangle, let's do it over here, is simply half times base times height. This is the area of a triangle. Okay. So this is simply equal to half. The base is simply what? The half of the cycle, which, which is given as 8 milliseconds half of the cycle, that's 8 milliseconds, we simply have 8 by 10 to the power of minus 3, which shows milliseconds multiplied by the height. The height is simply the maximum voltage or the peak voltage. In this case, take note, this is maximum voltage, Vmax, or the peak voltage, and it's given here as 40 volts. So multiply by 40. So please give me this area. you have area to be 0 0.16 in, um, okay? It becomes volt seconds. 0 0.16 in volt seconds. That becomes the area of the shape. So from the formula, area of shape divided by length of base, area is 0 0.16 all over. Length of base is simply, of course, half of the cycle, which is 8 milliseconds. You put that down, 8 by 10 to the power of minus Three. So please give me this value. Average value is equal to what? Okay, so the average value simply gave us 20 volts. Okay, so this is the first method of finding average value. Let's now try the second method. The second method is simply um, the average is equal to Find the values of the mid ordinates 1, V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus V4 divided by the number of cycles. Since the cycle has already been broken down into four places, it means we have um, 
number of cycles as four. Okay, number of cycles. So all we need to do now is find the values of the mid ordinates. Mid ordinate simply means distance from the middle of each values of the voltage. Distance measure from the middle of each values of the voltage. Okay, the first voltage here is ten. Middle of ten will give us what? Five. So which means V one is actually equal to five. The next value here is 20. Middle of 20 is what? Now, measure from middle of 20 is 10. Measure from, uh, which is put forth around here, measure from 5 down to the middle of 20. That's mid ordinate distance from each of the middle of the voltages. So, distance from 5 down to 10 simply gives us what? 15. So, it means that V2, okay, which is here 15, it means that V2 is actually equal to 15. Now, remember, Middle of 10, middle of 20 actually gave us 10. So which means from here to this point remains 10. Middle of 30 is what? 15. Middle of 30 is 15. And remember, the middle of 20 was give, given to us as 10. So measure from 10 down to what? 30. Sorry, from 10 down to 15. Middle of 30 is 15. So from 10 to 15 will give us 10 plus 15, which is 25. So V3 is actually 25. Equal 25. And again, you measure middle of 40 is what? 20. Middle of 40 remains 20. Remember, from here, the middle of 30 is 15. So measure from 15 down to 20. That will give us what? 35. So it means that V4 is actually 35. Okay, so the total number of circles remains 4. Okay, 4 circles. So we simply have 5 plus 15 plus 25 plus 35 divided by 4. So you have here 5 plus 15 plus 25 plus 35 divided by 4. Let's confirm this answer, please. That's 80 all over 4. We give us 80 over 4, and it's still giving us what? 20 volts, right? You have that to be 20 volts. So that's the second approach to finding the average value. Simply get the mid ordinate values, sum them up, and divide by the total number of cycles. In this case, total number of cycles is 4 from 10 to 20 to 30 to 40 which is about four cycles okay so that's um average value done and dusted next is to find um the root mean square value okay to find the root mean square value rmx it is simply the square root of the sum of the squares of the mid ordinate voltages so simply v1 squared plus v2 all squared plus v3 all squared plus v4 all squared divides by 4 okay so rmx is equal to the square root of v1 give us 5 right so you simply have 5 all squared plus v2 give us 15 yes 15 so plus 15 all squared plus v3 give us 25 25 all squared plus 35 all squared all over 4. So RMX is equal to the square root of, so give me these values now. 5 squared plus 15 squared, okay, 5 squared is 25 plus 15 squared is what? Huh? 225 plus 625 plus 1225 all over 4. Okay, so RMX is simply the square root of, so you give me the sum of these values. 2100 divided by 4. Please, 2100 divided by 4. 525. So you have the square root of 525. Give me the square root of 525. So this simply implies root mean squared is equal to, you said what? Root mean squared is 22.9 volts.
Any complaint? Okay. So if you have that, next question says we should find the form factor. Form factor is simply given as form factor is simply given as the root mean square value r m x value divides by uh, the average value of the average average value of the voltage and the root mean square value gave us 22.9 all over average value 20 all over 20 so please give me this value so form factor is equal to 1.15 145 okay which is okay 145 i don't think it has a unit no is the ratio of votes doesn't have a unit so you have that next question say we should find the peak factor peak factor is simply the peak value or the maximum voltage v max divided by the root mean square value romx and the maximum voltage in this question is simply what 40 so you simply have 40 all over root mean square value to 22.9 so please give me this value this implies that peak factor is simply what 1.75 okay 1.75 so that becomes the peak factor is as simple as that okay so we're going to try when it is sinusoda i will also show you when it is square or rectangular and i think that's all for now that three so let's go to sinusoda waves <laughs> 